Morning Fano, uh six fifty nine just finished dropping mum off. Man, this morning just been a real talk, real talk. Oh it was a hard morning this morning. Better she wasn't well yesterday, so hopefully she's feeling a bit better. I gave her the morning off. But man Yeah full on week this week for work and everything and you know, yeah, probably went. I still went to bed a fairly good time, about 10 o'clock. Asleep by quarter past 10. Uh, got up at 10 to 5. So that's a solid. It's all about six and a half, almost seven hours sleep, which is, you know, which is enough. But um, yeah, just 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 exhausted this morning. But I have to get high energy for work today. Um. So this morning I dropped Ritasi off to school. She was feeling so much better than she was yesterday. Uh, she woke up with only like a really small headache, um, but she felt like she could get she could do school today. So uh, I wasn't going to stop her, and um, dropped her off this morning. So she was really excited to go back to school, and I quite frankly was really excited to get back to work. Because I left work early yesterday, I had a whole bunch of things that I needed to catch up on and so I've caught up on them this morning. Okay, so just finished my board, my runanga meeting at MIT out in Otara at 6 o'clock, it's about 6.43 and <laughs> this is what normal people go through. How dumb is this? Ah, Mum's got a boil up ready. I'm stuck in this traffic. <laughs> I mean, I'm stuck in this traffic, don't cry. <laughs> Clown. Hey, so, um, yeah, bumper to bumper. Bonnet to bumper, sorry. And, uh, or oh, bumper to bumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to figure out which lane's the, the quickest, but at the same time, you know, I've had a pretty good day. When you're at peace, you know, when you're peace and joy and happiness and. Ah, uh, you know, your, your wide world is intact. Yeah, you're pretty relaxed. Now you're going home to a loving family and pretty excited because your mum invited you over for dinner for an awesome ball up. So, pretty excited. Still going to say calm. Look, I'm so, so calm that I'll let this fella come in. GZF341. Kia ora ete GZF. Hmm. Okay, fine. This is pretty exciting. We're the first one here, and we're five minutes early. About 5.25, so we might as well, uh, look at this. How is this for community trust day? We just keep, they just keep the tyres underneath the ramp here. Why? Because the only followers that would steal it are other fit freaks. Are crossfit people because, you know. Yeah, so you pull it up. Use your body. Yeah, it looks nice. Just thinking something interesting. Keyword yesterday was uh, fraud. F R A U D D. Fraud. I got a call from ASB yesterday. Good on you, ASB security team. And they cancelled my Visa debit card because somebody somehow got my details. We think it was online and tried to spend nine hundred dollars on something for some H two O company or something like that. Um, and then after that, try to set up a Netflix account on my account, on my business card account. So I was like, they called me, we sorted it out. Pretty good to have some uh, good protection in there because one thing, <laughs> at the time, didn't have $900 in there, so that was probably a good thing. Uh, and then after that, um, you know, they, they saw that it wasn't a regular activity. Morena. No. Oh. We are on our way to the travel expo yo yo why why we're gonna take you guys with us yeah too far right? 
because we're going to be trying to look for something for our honeymoon. Honeymoon, honeymoon. We're going to um, find a cruise or some kind of cool trip to book. Hopefully, book it today. Just finished at the Travel Expo and what's the time now? I don't know. I think it's like two. One three. Two o'clock in the afternoon, no. Ooh, We've been here since ten o'clock. We walked out with tons of um, brochures. Um, we had hoped to have booked something but we've definitely narrowed it down to a couple of things so we just have to go home and have a little bit of think over it. We have an appointment tomorrow with the travel agent. So. Yeah, at 10 o'clock so she's done a lot of work for us. We were uh, there probably for an hour yeah. with her so. So we're organising a uh, kapahaka thing for the whanau taking it and I'm about 20 minutes late I wasn't feeling too well uh, after the travel expo now I try to tell everybody to get here on time and I didn't get here on time so let's see it on the let's see what the reaction is for everyone else So me and Tords, we both had to bring our different cars just to come in and do our uh, do our next step on our flight centre, booking our honeymoon. <laughs> I've got to go to touch and she's going back home to sort out the honeymoon stuff. So it's pretty funny that we both had to bring our, our own car just to, you know, do our stuff, eh? <laughs> so I just finished dropping my nephew Rehu off. Uh, his mum asked this morning on the Facebook if somebody could drop him off because today is baking Sunday. She didn't tell anybody that. And she would have picked him up being an amazing, amazing mum, that cousin of mine. But she didn't want to turn everything off and all that stuff just to come back out and thing. And he only lives uh, around the corner from me. So I'm just I said, yep, yep, yep. But did I mention that it was baking Sunday? Because <laughs> boom! Now this is only a third of what she baked for me in terms of things. Um, so I'm going to always offer to drop them off. But you know, you do it for nothing at first and then whoa, boom! Banana cake with nice little banana chocolate icing in the, in the middle. And like I said, she's what an amazing mother. She does baking Sunday, so she cooks, bakes heaps of stuff all day, chops it all up, and then uses it to send her kids off home. 
are off to school throughout the week with heaps of lunch. So pretty, I think, pretty much winning after some two great games of touch. Just dropped them off, stayed there for a little bit, did my fifty fifty corridor. So we just had a bit of a sharing of some conversation, uh, sharing of some ideas of how our family can play more sport for less money. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty stoked. So like I said, this is only a third of the cake that we had because I had some with two glasses of milk, which I was like, mm, mm, mm. nah, it was only half, not that much of a pick. And I'm gonna go home and give this half to my wife as her prize for all her help that she did today. <laughs> now you might think she didn't actually help today, but you know, she wakes up every morning still being my wife, which I think that's a pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty uh, good achievement, I should say, because you know, not as amazing as, um, as some of those men out there. But uh, she, she sticks with me all the time. They, they, they. Weekly win. Let's see if that uh, those cheap meals affected affected my weight for last week. Here we go. Turn it on first. I think I was at 120.7 last week. Yo. 119.3 another kilo down been good this is flipping ridiculous look at me feel like I'm an Eskimo it's the sun's out today and I'm freezing I even have to wear a beanie and my hands are freezing and all of this type of stuff and then something clicked why am I so freezing well I started this new game you know I put some times in there so I can try to drink four liters a day minimum and you know and it's and it's going well at the moment but I did just get this big bottle out of the fridge so I've been drinking the water been holding the water bottle and all of that type of stuff so I'm thinking that I'm freezing because I've got so much cold water inside me Monday the 10th of August here in Tamaki Makoto Auckland and the sun is out that's really cool. Um, it's been quite a good day, but it is so bloody freezing, and I mean absolutely freezing. Um, the sun is here, but it's still quite cold. Like, the um, sun rays don't have any warmth to it, so it's still quite chilly. And uh, where we are, there's quite kind of a lot of trees, so um, it is very cold still. Yeah, this is the Ranui Action House, right across from the Ranui Community Centre, the Ranui Medical Centre, and just over the top there, the Ranui Library. And this is where uh, I come in, just to, you know, I've got a little bit of a desk here, uh, just to be out in the community. So I had a choice between coming here and between staying at the University of Auckland Business School. What you see inside this house is there's like 10 amazing services. Well, five, I think I'm exaggerating. One of them is a housing person, somebody that gets our homeless people housing. Another one's a youth worker. Uh, a lot of them are just working on so many projects in uh, Ranui. And then we've also got the community broker in there. Also CV workshops, free law workshops, all of this type of stuff. So, uh, man, all this come out in one little house. Amazing to be a part of this team. Diha. It's very sunny today. Um, it's just an absolutely beautiful place to work. It's so quiet when the students aren't hanging around but this here is my fadi this is where I work and in this middle office you can just kind of see my window right here that's where I live and that's where I work so if anyone's um, in the area or as a student here at the Epsom campus come and visit me it was sunny about an hour ago and now it is raining and I just heard the loudest thunderstorm
coming. So I hope it's not thundering on the way home because I really, really, really do not like driving in thunder or torrential rains. So fingers crossed that um, the weather holds out until I get home. <laughs> Like it's been raining here or hailing. Still dry on the ground. It's hailing at our house. That was my attempt at riding mukas, but it didn't come out. How crazy is this? Look at that. Keep in mind it does not snow here or anywhere near here so this is the closest we will get to snowing in Auckland. Kia ora whanau. like, share or subscribe so you can join us on our fun journey with mucking around with the muckers. Booha! <laughs>